Greetings, I am Rudimentary Rob. Welcome back to my Scum series, this being episode 3. I am resuming my quest to try and find a vehicle, or at least enough parts to get a vehicle up and running. Uh, I was pretty tired for this session as it turned out. If you want to know just how tired, oh, there's a puppet right there and I didn't even see them. Mm, this will be fun. Right, time for a bit of a touch-up on the old equipment. Um, it's kind of odd, really. Uh, most new scum sessions that I start, uh, trying to find some thread to make a needle and thread is usually the thing I have the most trouble with. But, uh, yeah, not so much this time around. Seem to be struggling for other things, mostly cars, as you are going to come to see in the next couple of episodes. Now, I've decided, as I mentioned in the previous episode, that my next likely candidate to maybe not find a working car as such, but certainly find one that might be worthy of repair, along with some valuable parts, will be the service station that's, uh, you know, northwest of us. Um, now, legging it cross country to try and get there in a useful time frame. And here we are at what the Aussies would refer to as a service station, but for those, you know, working in an alternative version of English, you would generally refer to this as a gas station. Yeah, potato, potato. Now, the zombies, or puppets I should say, uh, don't seem to spawn in immediately, at least not in full strength. Uh, so I'm just sort of taking advantage of a little bit of time to get in and see what I've got. 
And what I've got is a Rager with no driver's seat and only one wheel on it. So not really any different to that first Volkswagen or Wolfswagen, I should say, that we found when we started the game. So not really any closer to getting myself a working car. Well, nice to see a couple of Laker parts in close proximity. Uh, who knows, if I can get that Laker running, I might come back for them. But yeah, we're going to have to find at least one other Laker and or a whole bunch of wheels before we can look at that. This is kind of the nightmare scenario. I mean, I've already got a small toolkit, so finding more toolkits is kind of neither here nor there, but I'm uh, using them to touch up the equipment that requires a toolkit to touch up. Uh, trying to find room for everything, though, as you can see, that's not going to happen.
pro tip, don't undergo indecision while tired. Uh, honestly, I almost went deaf from the sound of the gears, you know, turning in my head, trying to work out what I was going to take and what I was going to leave. Yeah, I don't know whether I did successfully take the right stuff or not, but um, we eventually made a decision and were able to move on. Uh, of course, two or three ice ages may have elapsed in the meantime. Now, I'm trying to make a decision about which way I want to go in my continuing search for a vehicle. Uh, at this point, I've pretty much decided I'm going to head towards the uh, town due west. Uh, on the basis that there's probably at least one spawn there. Um, unlike the more experienced scum players, I am not an encyclopedic knowledge about every single car spawn location on the map. And yes, there are some online maps out there that could tell me exactly where to look, but I find them a bit too spoilery when I'm doing this stuff, and I like to just have a genuine search myself. Uh, if I get super frustrated with it later, I might do a bit of research and see if there's any that I've missed, but... For the moment, I'm just intent on using my own two eyes to, you know, try and find myself a car. the celebration music we have found ourselves a hiking backpack now these look when you load them up they will slow you down and that is a definite downside but at the moment with my current space issues I honestly don't care um, I haven't had to deal with too many uh, puppets so far and the inconvenience of you know having the the heftier backpack on my back is not really a concern I have at the moment. I just want the space. More particularly, it's going to make it easier to carry car parts later as well because they just, a lot of them are quite large and, you know, you kind of benefit from having that extra space. And now the half a brain cell worth of rocket scientist in me just remembered that I can now cut this backpack down, the old one, and turn it into one of the types of quiver. Uh, I'm sure uh, Oladino watching this will be happy that she doesn't need to scream at the screen about this particular thing. Uh, I can't promise there won't be other things that she will need to scream at the screen about later. Well, that is a awesome two upgrades I've been able to do now. I feel like I've moved from a, a one bedroom or a bed sit into a luxury mansion in terms of free space now. Well, that might be an exaggeration, but hey, it felt pretty good.
you know, there is a lot of sounds in the world that will suddenly wake you up. That is most definitely one of them. I we have one of our crazy explodey puppets has now spawned in nearby and my uh, desire to linger in this area has now been completely removed. Uh, so we are going to quickly loot what we can, including, ta-da, a cleaver finally. And we are going to ski daddle out of this gas station ASAP. Alright, I did manage to uh, carefully escape said gas station without Mr. or Mrs. Explody uh, introducing themselves with their big warm and welcoming hug. Uh, we may need to deal with more of those down the track, but nice to see that now I've turned them on they are actually showing up. So we are making progress now towards the uh, town West. Uh, apologies, I am absolutely hopeless at remembering names at the best of times. To try and remember some of these uh, town names, or indeed what sector I'm in, or indeed what my own name is on days like the day I recorded this, yeah, all of those can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. And in today's edition of the editor just came up with a really bad dad joke. Uh, it could be said that uh, I now represent a certain Star Wars droid or a variant on it. Uh, rudimentary Rob is two R's and I am in sector Z2. So R2 Z2. And we are getting pretty close to the town now. Z2 town, I guess you could say. Um, still a bit of trudging to do. Lovely uh, hyper-realistic rain going on here because uh, it was actually raining equally hard outside when I was recording this. So, yeah, art imitating reality, I guess. In a bit of an are we there yet kind of moment, it turns out we kind of are here. And it's still raining.
Do my eyes deceive me? Could that be another wolf's wagon? Could it be one that's even working? Well, I'll tell you the answer to those two questions is not the same. It is in fact a wolf's wagon, but it's definitely not working. It has no driver's seat. It has one wheel on it. And it is, you know, not really going to get us anywhere anytime soon. And in spite of my uh, past experience with scum and trying to get my first vehicle up and running in those sessions, I'm still somewhat optimistic that I will somehow stumble around a corner and find a mostly ready-to-go vehicle. Yeah, let's see how that works out. As I wander down towards the uh, beach here, I'm reaching the end of this particular part of my play session. I recorded enough to do three episodes, so you will see a continuation of this in episode four. If you have enjoyed what you've watched, give me a like. If you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This has been Rudimentary Rob. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.